guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is april and in this channel i do lots and lots of self-care especially for moms but today in this video we're going to do my five top tips that i would recommend any mother out there that's going through any postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety so if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe if you're not new welcome back mommy and yeah let's get straight into the video okay mom so my first tip is creating a schedule slash routine i know you're like girl what the hell does that have to do with my postpartum depression and anxiety and i know how you're feeling i know how you're feeling but let me just say something when i am out of my routine i'm pretty sure some of you moms og moms that know when you are out of your routine like you get sluggish you don't want to cook clean like nothing sometimes your baby will be eating processed food we all be at mcdonald's like it is good to just have a day to yourself to just like forget everything but constantly like that can really break you down and put you in this sluggish mentality this unmotivated mentality like there's things that we got to do we got to take them to doctor's appointments we got to get in a routine and i promise you guys one thing that i learned that helped me when i was a child care provider for like five years getting the kids on a routine is oh my god you get your lunch you get to exercise, you get to do whatever you want to do when they sleep. So that's why I say getting them on a routine is going to help you. So everybody has to be on a routine. It doesn't have to be like a, a strict schedule routine, but just knowing like, okay, at this time, my son's going to go to bed. At this time, we do this. At this time, we wake up. At this time, we bed. And it helps you with your mental health as well, knowing. And let me just tell you something real quick. Once you get started, once you get started on just building a routine, your body will just naturally be like, girl, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> like, no alarm. You just be like, oh, I'm up at seven o'clock. That's crazy. You know, even your kids, your kids are going to be like, damn, it's time for bedtime, you know? And it's going to be so good for you just to be able to do things that you need to do, especially when they're asleep. So I recommend getting a routine because I promise you, it's the worst having a baby that goes to sleep at like two o'clock at night. And I had that happen. So I promise you, if you just get on a routine, get on a routine, ladies. I promise it will help. I know right now it doesn't make any sense. But once you start getting in a routine, it will just help you, not just you, your baby, your family, everybody. Okay, so my second tip is putting yourself first. And I, I preach this so much on my channel. That's why you guys need to be subscribed. But not just i'm i when i say put yourself first i mean like mental health physical health not just like oh we're hungry i'm gonna feed myself before i feed the baby no feed your baby feed your baby don't be crazy but what i mean is putting yourself first a lot of times as women we tend to bold up so much so much so much until we explode that's not good that's honestly not good for you for your family for your hubby for your relationship with anybody but when you are able to be like, hey, you know what? Today's not the day to do this. Today's not the day to do this. Today's not the day to do this. Today's not the day to for me to cook or whatever it may be. Especially when it comes to your mental health, like put yourself right. You like, I need like ten minutes to just like go and take a break. Do that. Go in your closet, cry. Do that. Then come back out. <laughs> Don't leave the kids by themselves but you know what i mean when it comes to mental health that's so important when it comes to physical health like a lot of times a lot of people doctors will say you know if your body is not in good shape a lot of times women tend to be depressed or they tend to have anxiety and that can amplify it and i am honestly that is true i am overweight as you can see i'm overweight and i'm working on my health and as i learn when i'm on this like fitness journey Allowing myself to just exercise early in the morning, getting that out of the way, no baby, no nothing, just me, mommy, and God. I honestly feel so good. Like, it just feels so good. Exercise just clears my mind. I don't know what it is about exercise and cookies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But exercise just really, like, clears my mind and gets rid of my negative thoughts and if you guys are spiritual whether you meditate use affirmations those are good just telling yourself telling your thoughts because you know sometimes anxiety our thoughts can get the worst of us i promise you guys i've been through it i know what you're thinking but spiritually i'm somebody who believes in god you know i believe that jesus christ died on the cross 
but I sent. So for me, building a relationship with God is just one of the most important things. Something that I didn't do when I was going through postpartum was pray constantly. And now that I'm kind of like, I would say like 80% good, I'm like getting out of it. Um, my relationship with God is so important. I tend to pray. I, my prayers are like this sometimes, but when I'm like in the motion and I'm really trying to build my relationship with God, like just saying a prayer just clears everything. And what I learned from church last Sunday was prayer rejects the enemy. So anytime you're feeling upset, anytime you're angry, it can be at yourself, your family, your kids, just say a prayer, go pray, go pray before you go to bed, pray in the morning time, talk to God. Like those are some of the things that we really need to do. And that comes with affirmations as well. Telling yourself like, hey, I am able to do this. I am a loving mom. I'm not the perfect mom, but I know I'm a damn sure good mom. Like those are things we need to constantly tell ourselves and we don't take enough time to do that. And I promise you guys, when you, even if you stick like sticky notes on the mirror and just when you wake up, just say, I'm beautiful. I love myself. I love my new body that God gave me or this baby gave me. I know I got a little tiger marks, but that's okay. So yeah, those are things that I recommend to do when you're trying to get in this motion of just getting out of this depressed state and this anxiety. Anything to just amp up your energy, guys. Like I know sometimes, like especially when I was going through, so I was diagnosed with postpartum anxiety, but then it it ended up being postpartum depression and then I still have postpartum anxiety. Um, and those can last, like you can get it even a year after and which is surprising, but it was like a black cloud over my head that just didn't go away. Like I would wake up sad, go to sleep sad. And that's the worst thing is to go to sleep crying. Like that is the worst thing because tomorrow is not promised. So for me, I had to really think in my mind, like what is making me so upset? I know it is a hormone imbalance. Sometimes it just takes a while, but sometimes it could be other things. What I learned through my anxiety and my therapy was my therapist was like, sometimes when you go through these traumatic hormonal changes and these depression states, it can be something that was in you all this time. And then you ended up getting postpartum depression. Now it's like out, you know, something. So it can be like, just think of it like a little child living in you. And then you ended up getting like hormonal change. Now the child's like, girl, did you forget about this? 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 You're this, you're this, you're this. And your thoughts are constantly like, Ugh. so trust me, I get it. But I, I'm here to tell you guys, you moms, there is a way out. And of course, you know through god and through all these things you're going to make it out so any mother out there that's experiencing these postpartum depression anxiety i promise you got this girl and you can continue doing it so keep going keep motivated and yeah let's get on to our third oh, step. so my third tip was just prayer and affirmations and meditation whatever you guys do prayer really helps me and it helps it just helps me so much, guys. It really does. But even affirmations, just telling yourself constantly that you can do the things that your thoughts are telling you you can't. I one time was just telling myself I was such a bad mother. For what? Like, why am I telling myself I'm a bad mother? Like, I am a damn good mother. Like, I'm not a perfect mother, okay? Um, but I'm a mother. I'm a really good I have I do really good at my job of being a mother I'm not perfect but I do really good and I was constantly that thought was playing in my head so much when he would cry when I would like maybe miss 30 minutes of not feeding him like something like little you know I, I didn't check his diaper on time I would like break down and I would like really like be like you're not a good mother you're this you're fat you're ugly for that nobody's gonna want you like i would constantly tell myself that and i'm telling you you have to stop doing that like deny the enemy like please do not let the enemy come near you with those negative thoughts your thoughts every time your thoughts are saying you're this you're that like <laughs> shut it I remember the pastor was like, just grab the socks. <laughs> just grab them. Really, really, honestly. And just deny them because that's not what you are. And for a while when I was doing that to myself, I 
sunk myself into a deeper hole. So any of you mothers that is just now experiencing, really take charge of your thoughts. Like honestly, because at the end of the day, anxiety and depression, it's all our thoughts just making us feel like worse person. You know, our, ma our mind and our heart is not something that we should like honestly, truly keep trusting because we play so much tricks, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. So that's one thing. That's another, that's my third tip. So yeah. So my fourth tip is just, I just want to talk about anxiety. I have really bad anxiety now. I get panic attacks quite a lot. And I think something, some, something that will maybe help you women if you guys are experiencing postpartum anxiety is getting out of your thoughts like I said and keeping yourself busy I mean like not sitting there like scrubbing the floors and brushing yourself like go on a walk go paint like go to the beach go swimming like get yourself out of the house also too guys if you guys are not taking vitamin D and you're a stay at home mother please take your vitamin D because once I went back to the doctor after I started experiencing the symptom, my vitamin D was so low, so low. So any of you guys that are experiencing that, make sure you guys up your vitamin D. Go outside, guys. I promise you guys, now that we moved into like a better uh, neighborhood, me and my son, we take walks. And just that sun hitting my body feels so liberating. Like it feels so good to be outside. So just be active. Like if you like to go shopping, if you like to do your makeup, if there's a passion you want to do, start that business, do whatever you do to get your mind out of your thoughts. A lot of times it's just us sitting at home. We're just sitting, just constantly replaying what we're playing, what our thoughts are saying. And that can be like one of the worst things you can do to yourself. So like I said, for me, I'm like, I'm somebody who likes to be outdoors anywhere. I like to be outside. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but I'm somebody who likes to be outdoors anyway. So I like, I like to go for hikes. I like to take my dog on a walk. Like whatever I can do to get outside, I'll do it. Now with COVID, you have to be just a little bit more careful. But like I said, go outside. Okay, so my last tip is just the best tip I feel like is having a support system. So I know there are some single mothers out there that don't have an, a, like a support system if somebody was to have like a husband or something like that. But even if it's your mom, your sisters, your brothers, tell people what you're going through. A lot of times, I remember when I was going through it, my actually my fiance came up to me and was like, do you have postpartum depression? And I was like, what? Like this is before I went to the doctors and really, it was it. I was like, what are you talking about? It's like, just the way you've been feeling. Like, and I was looking on Google, you know, Google be your worst enemy. And he's like, I feel like you have it. And he's, he, and I think what made me much better was just telling him everything I was going through, my thoughts, because you know what? He helped me reject the thoughts that were going through my head. Every time I would be like, I'm not a good mother and this and that, he would be like, babe, just you are like you really are a good mother like you do this you do this and then you're like okay 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 and then also i told my mom about him i was like why didn't you tell me like this is something like especially if you're a woman and you you tell another woman it's something that can really help you because maybe they've been through it and they can give you tips on what to do so that's what i recommend is telling somebody whether it's a friend a co-worker having a support system will help you get through anything whether you're trying to lose weight whether you're trying to do this like it's just gonna help you because then they'll remind you of who you actually are instead of listening to the enemy so yeah that's it uh my little fab tips i just want to say something also like we are not perfect you're never going to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect mom. and But I want to let you know that you are doing your best, girl. You really are. And I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. Please do not believe what your thoughts are telling you. You are perfect. If you're going through a rut, I promise you you're going to get out of it. It's just in due time. Concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on what you love, what makes you happy, what makes you feel good. I honestly really truly believe that. And prayer rejects the enemy. Realize that, guys. Like prayer rejects the enemy. Whether you even say affirmations to yourself, say that you love yourself. Like just say something kind to yourself every day, mommy. You really deserve it. Not only that, my favorite 
Bible verse, I have it on my arm, is Philippians 4, 13. It's, I can do anything through Christ who strengthened me. And you really can. You can get out of this just like I did. I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% better, but... I am doing a lot better than what I was doing it. I know you're feeling really scared, really fearful, really dark. It's really dark where you're at. Your body, your mind, your soul feels very dark inside. But I promise you, you will get out of this rut. People don't really know the damage a postpartum can have on some women. A lot of women go through it. You are not alone, girl. You are not alone. And mind you, just to just to say something, um, my irritation. <laughs> But a lot of women go through it. You are not the only one. And I also want to say I do have a Facebook group that supports moms, especially moms that go through postpartum depression. It's called Mom Support Moms. I'll link it down below so you guys can go ahead and check out that Facebook group. It's free to join. I'm not charging nobody <laughs> on their emotions to join something. So, yeah. That is it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section any other videos you would love for me to do or talk about. If you want me to even talk about my experience going postpartum depression, I didn't make a story on that. So if you want to learn about my story, I will hopefully do that. <laughs> but I try not to bring up my past, but I will do it obviously. But yeah, so... Make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bless me in